How's it going, everyone? My name is Flip Ribbon, and welcome back to some Portal 2. Last episode, uh, we, we brought Wheatley into power, finally ripped GLaDOS from her throne, and, uh, now we're here. <laughs> in shithole land, because, you know, surprise, surprise, Wheatley betrayed us, because we got a bit corrupted by power. Who could guess? I mean, that never happens, right? I, it just, it's just such a, such a classic. Such an absolute classic. But, now we're, uh, it's seemingly in just, like, the pit, just the trash of the facility. Uh, let's see, how do we get out of here? Oh, there we go. Easy enough. And so begins Portal 2's, uh, obsession with place the portal in a very specific place. But, I, I really won't try, I, I really try not to make that a point of contention. It just, it just is a little bit annoying for me, but off we go. Off we go into the land of the free. Home of the brave, I, I guess. Really is a crazy awesome environment though. Like for 2013, this game's awesome. And I, I hate always bringing up time periods because it's like, oh, for 2013, this game was incredible. It's like, well, what does that mean? Was it incredible? Is it incredible? Screw time periods, right? But yeah, this game's great. I, I really do believe this game is fantabulous. I'm sure there's some sort of thing to do here. No? All right. Um, oh, wait, there has to be then, right? Or can I go over it somehow? Perhaps? No? No? Uh, wait, wait, yeah! Out we go, down the stairs, around the corner. You know, they say to keep out, they can't keep me out. I'm freaking shell, bro. What, what, are they, what are they gonna do? Actually, you know what? I wanna be a hardcore gangster. You can't tell me what to do, game! Yeah, that's what I thought! Long fall boots for the wind, man. If I can fall down an elevator shaft, that is nothing. Do not enter. Keep out. Keep out. Uh, do you think? You think maybe I should... Turn around, go home. I mean, f fuck it. I would, right? Gotta, you can only do what you can. And if the signs say keep out, but you gotta keep in, you gotta just live your truth, man. Holy hot damn. We're in like a vault. It's like Fallout. Pull the lever. Oh, Jesus. Fucking shithole. Oh, yeah. It really is like a vault. That's incredible. It's amazing. I I should like mention I haven't played this game since uh, probably around the same time as I played Portal One, or like you know obviously after. Holy shit, my brain is a big meatball. But like I don't know. I just I, I don't remember all the nuances of this game. I just remember you know the the, the basic premises. So I used to watch long plays of this game. I used to watch fucking completely, like, uh, no commentary long plays of Portal 2, just because I loved it. I loved the environments, and I loved the fucking ambiance, and I loved the characters. I just, I don't know. It was a very, it's a very important game to my, to my, uh, young adolescent self, but, you know, I, I don't know. Then Valve threw it by the wayside, and my attention and care for its development sort of did too. Like, which is sad, right? Because it's such a cool IP, but... I mean, fuck it. I, I I can't blame myself, right? Can't blame myself that Val didn't do shit. Jesus. <laughs> Necessary, ladies and gentlemen. This is the peak of necessity. Oh. Oh, well. Can't avoid loading gates, I suppose. Keep out. Condemn. Do not enter. Do not enter. Keep out. You, you know, have you ever thought maybe if one sign didn't work, 15 others probably won't either? I mean, I guess you gotta reiterate that point. Really gotta make it, but... Yeah. Caution, do not lead on railing, danger. You see these two signs? They're, they're probably the only ones saying that. And that, that should pretty much work out for you in court, which is all you really need signs for, right? Alright, cool. This sounds good to me. Whoa, what's going on there? Is that trash? What are the birds falling into the fucking... I don't know. Let's just hope it wasn't birds falling into the acid, okay? How do we get up a doodle dandy? Ah. Uh, up a doodle, cock a doodle up. <laughs> how, do, how do we, how do we cock a doodle up, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, cock a doodle do. God, fucking cock a doodle fuck. How do I get up there? I'm sorry, I don't know what my, what my deal with cock a doodle is right now. I just, can I, can I, go? Oh, I see it. And then in here, fantastic. And now we have, you know, the thing we need. Pull the lever. <laughs> Pull the lever, crunk. The main power to the entranceway, the automated doors, the lobby, and the testing lounge. My god, what a, what an important breaker. Hi! Uh-huh. You're here because we want the best. Yeah! You are it. Yeah! Who's ready to make some science? I'm ready to make some science, Cave! Now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. 
Cool. Hey, bud. Oh, man. What a chad. Uh -huh. <laughs> My honorarium? What the hell is that? We. She's married to science. It's fantastic. I absolutely love Cave Johnson. Let me just say, not as like a, oh yeah, what a good guy, but as a character. What a beautiful man. Imagine with me, for just a moment, if uh, that guy from Bioshock, who I can never remember the fucking name of, like, Adam something, right? Or something like that? It was something like that, okay? It, he, he was the big, the big honcho. No, no, no gods, no masters. But it's like if he got mixed with, like, I don't know, the Joker. That's Cave Johnson, and I goddamn love it. Yeah. Of course not. Hi there, beautiful. Awesome! Science adventure! You have bent the world to your will. Jesus Christ. Those of you helping <laughs> us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteer uh, to be injected with praying mantis I don't, DNA, I don't think that <laughs> I've got some good praying news mantis and DNA? some bad news. Okay. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Right. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. <laughs> Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll Come on, Val. Jesus Christ, where's the Battle of the Mantis Men game, Valve? I would love that game. Set in the Portal universe? Fuck my ass. <laughs> At what point does it become a talent, a straight-up skill, to always miss a platform before you make it? It's incredible. Fighting an army of Mantis Men. I'm serious, I would play that game. I would play the game where you fucking play in Aperture Science before everything starts off of just that one-liner where you just fight Mantis Men. I would play the fuck out of that game. It'd be like Left 4 Dead, but Mantis Men. I would love it. Wait, do I even want to go over there? What, what's, what's my plan here? I, I want to get over here because that's where the pump station is for the, uh, for the goop. The goop delicious. Oh, oh, I see it. I see it now. You must use the elevator to your advantage, young shell. You must do whatever you can to use your environment. I, I really do appreciate the puzzles like this, but they're just... I don't know. I feel like they kind of missed the mark. God fucking damn it. I almost want to just die instead. Yeah, it sounds, sounds like a good plan to me. But I don't know. I think those uh, environmental uh, puzzles in between the test chambers, I think they're good in one hand where on paper you're thinking like okay I need puzzles right in between the bigger puzzles that are the tests to sort of break up the intensity of how big of puzzles the tests are and he, that does work but I think when you get into this situation it's more about finding where you can even put a portal anywhere 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 it, it's just like annoying like of course it's obvious now but there will be examples later that are just like really gratuitous and like why would you assume that I need whatever whatever it's just odd and it's not odd that's the wrong choice of words it's just I think it sounds very good on paper, and I think it works incredibly well on paper, but perhaps not as well in execution. Off we go to the pump station. Oh, that's what this does. It, okay, duh. I should have assumed... Wow, I was a stupid kid. Didn't pay attention to goddamn shit. All I liked was funny little quips and portal guns and the art and... I don't know. I just didn't pay attention. Clearly, I didn't even know what I was doing here. Hoppity doo da! I am a freaking god. It, it is really bending the world to your will. I mean, it's quite they incredible. Great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Of course. Not here. Not, Not here. here. We do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. That's what I'm saying. That's some. That's some real. Uh, that's some real. Uh, god, what the fuck is his name? It's gonna just eat at me. It's. Andrew, Andrew Ryan, that's what it is. It's Andrew Ryan. It, that's who it is. It's Andrew Ryan mixed with the Joker equals Cave Johnson. Cave Johnson's just fucking incredible. All right, let's get I started. am here. This first All right. Test the lab boys God call damn, that's gel. crazy. You're not part of the control group, by the way. Okay. You the gel. Last Sweet. Last son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke Why? Broke bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. <laughs> or so I'm told. Okay, how? Huh, yeah, it was really informative. Now we know not to throw people off of ledges. Did you know repulsion gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a dietetic pud pudding substitute? Di diet, 
dietetic. Yeah, that's a very interesting word. It's true. The gel is sweeter, slightly less non-toxic. It's a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out his or her mouth. That is probably the worst idea I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh, God, did you hear the music? It's fantastic. I love those details, man. It's like playing a little medley. Like, every puzzle becomes like a little concert, a little musical routine. It's pretty goddamn fantastic. Where the hell is the box? Oh, right, the button's over there. Just gotta... Oh, my God. Off we go. Come on, come on. Thank you so much. I, just, I can take the joke for a bit, but uh, it'll get very, very cumbersome if I keep doing it. So hopefully I can just jump in the right direction, goddammit. And blop. Fantastic. What a what a beautiful array of sounds. I love the music in this game. Yeah. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. Yeah, maybe. Make more Wait, what? pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk oh. about the control group all damn day. It's true. I mean, you can do whatever you want, Cave. The world is your oyster. Uh, okay. And, uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, see, god damn it. It's just, it's just so not a puzzle. It's just so not a puzzle. It's just like, find two spots you can smack a portal on and, and, and then do well, that. And then do it. It's, it whatever. Uh -huh. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump external genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. What the hell? Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Yeah. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing leather underpants, we took care of that too. Holy shit. <laughs> He's basically a fucking psychopath. Uh, you were supposed to stop, were you not? You, you were powered? No, I thought you were powered by the button. Okay, my bad. Eh, uh, plop. Come here, box. Oh, come here, box. Oh, <laughs> I'm just so impatient. Oh, damn. That was really convenient. I didn't look at all. Fantastic. Off we go, man. And, uh, hoop de doo That's not what I did before. That's what I thought I did, because, I don't know. I really like the repulsion gel. It's freaking fun. It's just, it's just goddamn fun. It's really what it is. It's just a fun-ass time. Okay, and then, yeah, and then I can just go... I love the music. I, I, it's almost like criminal, in my opinion, to talk over it. It's just so beautiful. Like, then... Ah, oh, fuck. I can't, I can't even help but fuck things up. I'm just an incorrigible nightmare a little bit. But, you know, I do my best, I do what I can, which is to simply be... Alright, this is it. The final frontier. It's going to be fantastic! Just believe! I can make the jump the first time. Come on, come on. <laughs> Oh, in yeah. case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Uh -huh. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. Right. I haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and Wait. it does not like the human skeleton. What do you mean you haven't nailed down what element it is? Didn't you make it? How, how do you make something and not know the elements of it? Elements of it. <laughs> oh, brain. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Great. Out the rat. Just keeps on going. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. All right. That's not part of the test. That's asbestos. <laughs> Good news is the lab boys yeah. say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. Wow. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. You're laughing. Scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. Three centuries. <laughs> my God, Cave. I mean, when you put it like that, who could possibly argue? And in we go. I like your style. What? You make up your own rules, just like me. Aren't these pre-recorded? Yeah. Wait. What? Okay. Have you ever noticed you have GLaDOS syndrome, Cave? Uh, where you sort of just say the same joke because that's all you got? Yeah, this place is lined with asbestos, by the way. Did you know I killed a man with blue paint? Did you know I broke a man's legs for the betterment of science? Yes, it's a good thing. Ah, by the way, science. Wow, Cave. I've never heard you hear. Uh, I never heard you say that one before. I wonder. I wonder what you could possibly say next. Okay. So what am I trying to do here? Uh, not not whatever's happening there. Uh, let's get up there for a little moment. Hmm. 
Well, it seems as if I want to bounce. <laughs> yeah, if you can believe it, I, it's time to bounce. Uh, but bounce to where? Oh, of course. Let's just put a freaking bunch of blue over here. Blue. Hey, hey, I got co I got covered in the shit. Am I okay? Will I be okay? Am I gonna be? Am I gonna die, Papa? And down, and then you go up, and then you go uh, down. Oh shit! Oh shit! Up. And then you go, no, god damn it, I'm so dumb. There we go. And then I want it down here too. But no, more like, more like right there. I, I really want to take no chances here. I took no chances and I still failed. Oh my god, it feels like it's halfway not my fault. Like, it's just so weird, the aerial controls in this game. It feels like you have such fucking no control. And then, huh? yeah, there we go. Fantastic. And, uh, and we need to fly, we need to sail. Uh probably won't make it though if we sit yeah 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 absolutely you gotta you gotta spray it spray it with some of that good goop you know what I'm talking about yeah that absolutely fine goopage that freaking delicious goop and then you just dive right through just a heads up, fucking amazing I'm telling you the same joke every time 50 brain. times 50 different There's ways a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe anyway fantastic don't yourself thinking about it I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. So, uh, duh, cave. Just duh. How do you expect to extract good science from shit like that, man? You're you're infecting me with tumors. You're giving me that cal calcium now, bullshit that it kills me immediately. Kepler Seven. Tiny microchips. Tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But wow. If it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test. Let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're gonna need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Jesus. Rhymey Christmas, man. Like, you're just, you're just gonna get absolutely jack shit, nothing done. Ugh. Can I make it? No. No. Uh. What the hell? Uh. Why not? Are you ready for this? Splash! Wow, it totally gets destroyed. So, what is a man? Like, well, what is a man to do? But also, what is a man? Miserable pile of secrets. Um, how would I get up there? Oh, there's a button right there. I'm so stupid. And button time. Fantastic. Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Gotta go. Gotta go fast. And, yeah, that's about as fast as you gotta go. You don't have to go that fast. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, oh. word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Okay. Boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Oh. Forward and backward. So do both what? of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. What? What? Why would you even make? What? Uh, cave, you're just so silly. What in the name of the fucking goddamn am I supposed to do here? Uh. 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 Oh, perhaps I can get up there. There we go. Okay, don't do that, please. Everyone, calm down. I know I'm popular, and I can just go. A zoom. A blah blah boom. I flop a doom. And that's just how you flag the doom, dude. That's how you flop a doom. I'm only assuming if I can see it that I'm gonna be using it. That's, that's it's it's a very fair assumption to make in Portal 2. I, I'm telling you. Sail! Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Remember that song? I, I mean, I didn't really do it justice right there. I'm very tired today. I don't know why. Portal was just the move today. I could shut my brain off, listen to Cave rant and rave about fucking dumb shit like taxes, I'm sure. Sometime. Your taxes are coming soon, accountants. Guys of shit. Just needed a minute. Just needed a moment for myself. Uh, huh. Actually, I'm realizing how does this help me? Oh, I see it. I see how this helps me. Okay, so, and then we just fall, right? Just fall right into it. Boing! Fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Are we in one of the spheres right now? I didn't even notice. I mean, I guess we're, if that was what the vault was, right? So, yes, but. Interesting. Very interesting. It's very cool to to look at, like when you notice the edge of the sphere, like enclosing you. Like you realize how big this fucking space is. It's ginormous. It's awesome. What? If you're hearing this, it means eh. taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. Oh, shut up. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. Why would I be scared? I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if they walked <laughs> up and snapped their little pink bras. That sounds like projection. We didn't okay. Fly into space, storm on the beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. 
It's you and me against the world, son. I son. Like your grit. Uh -huh. Now let's solve this thing. Okay. Uh, you are a confusing man, Cave. Am I a son? Am I an Olympian? Am I a gold medal winner? Fucking cheese eating contest? I could be anything. I can only hope to be the gold medal winner of the cheese wheel contest. I know this might seem strange that I do this every time with no regard to what the puzzle is. I just really, uh, I really like uh, putting the goop all over the place. Boy, I'm just a humble gooper. That's all that I do. Oops. So. I need to coat this shit in goop, don't I? Yeah, I do. All right, and then, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't know it did that. That's incredible. Come back here, you. God damn it, stop breaking all the glass. It's getting all over the place, man. It's dangerous. Come back here. Yeah, I got you, you freaking son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, let's wash you off. That's a little, a little too dangerous. Actually, uh, just, just one time, just, just one time, I want to smack you on the ground. Yeah, come on, come on. No, go, be go better than that. You're doing really bad, Mr. Box. You're doing really not that great. Actually, you're going all over the place. You're doing pretty well. Not bad. There you go. Break the rest of it. That's your destiny. But your new destiny is to be cleansed of all that which makes you special. Come on. Yeah, there you go. That's what I like to see. Get, get your ass back here. Fulfill what you were meant to do. Ah, uh, just what? Open the door? I can do that. I can do that. Easy peasy squeezy. Oh, and let me guess. Now I have to do this. Come on, buddy. Your, your true fate was known all along. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, shit. Your true fate was here all along. Yay! Be who you were meant to be. <laughs> okay. Huh? <laughs> wow. Thank you. Damn. Damn. That's harsh, bro. You were pretty much asking for a civil suit with that bullshit. Probably not even a civil suit. You'd probably just be like, hey, uh, he fired me pretty pretty unreasonably. Okay, I was just telling him the the, the, the do's and do nots of science. But I guess if you're rich enough to do this, to you're rich you enough to do pretty much anything. Contribution to science. Science. Yeah. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. Fantastic, absolutely. Into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Fantastic. Goodbye, Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. What an amazing woman. Okay, God damn it! how... <sighs> Why would you waste my time? I wonder what I have to do. Perhaps there will be a small spot or a crack in the wall that I can then put a portal onto. Perhaps this is the way to progress the game. I want to fucking kill myself. Well, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode of Portal here. I know it's pretty short. I just, like I said, I was really tired today, and I just wanted to do something that I could turn my brain off. It, ironically, it's the puzzle game, but... Don't, don't worry about it. I just I just wanted something easy and chill and this seems like a good place to leave it off because I Quite literally. I just don't know where the I don't know where to put the portal and I don't want to look for it So we're done if you enjoyed please like comment subscribe do whatever you want in the world and have an amazing day I'm me you're you, but I've got to go so peace out everyone